What's going on everybody? Gunner here at St. Croix Rods. Today is Customer Appreciation Day and I want to show you guys one thing to add to this masterclass. Uh, today's video is all about the double haul. I don't want to teach you the double haul. There's a lot of videos on how to teach you the, do the double haul. What I want to show you is probably a mistake you're making with the, your double haul. It's a mistake I make with my double haul, especially when I'm in a fishing situation. When I'm not focused on my casting, this is a fault of mine that I saw in a lot of those videos. When I was re-watching and editing the videos for this class, I was like, man, I do that a lot when I'm like really intense and I'm really focused on fishing. I do this big mistake. So check it out. This had to do with a phone call that I, I had with Mark Sadati, and I mentioned double haul to him. I mean, you know, oh, it adds more tension to the rod. It increases line speed. It does all these things. And he seemed very nonchalant about it. When you talk to Mark about casting, everything with Mark is, is about feel. It's all about feeling. He's such good, he's so good at feeling the rod. And he said something to me about the double haul, and it, it really st struck me. And it, it was, he just uses it to keep tension on the rod. You just use it to keep tension on the rod. And let me show you something. If you make a single hand cast, that line's stuck under my fingers. So there's no slack. You can't ever get any slack. But the moment you separate your hands, do you see that this line bounce around? You can get a lot of slack in there if you're not careful. And one of the things that people do wrong, something I do wrong, is I'll haul into my back cast, which is very comfortable. Your hands start together and they separate. But then I'll start my forward stroke while my hands are coming together. And then I'll make my presentation. Now the massive problem with this is I am loading the rod while unloading the rod at the same time. Complete lack of efficiency. I'm literally working against myself. And so what you have to understand is that double haul, to execute it properly, to haul on the forward cast, you know, I could, I could say when you go back, your hands have to touch. But sometimes that's really hard, especially with a wind resistant fly. You know, boom, oh, they gotta, you gotta somehow meet your hands together. This is really awkward if you open stance cast. This is much easier if you close stance cast. But the only thing that truly matters is when you go back and stop, the hands have to go together at the same time to begin the forward stroke so that this haul hand is adding tension into the blank. If you are relieving tension while adding tension, it's a huge fault. Completely shortening your casting stroke is probably gonna unload or reload the rod. You're gonna overload it and then you're gonna have a massive tailing loop. So check this out. Proper timing is everything. Proper timing is everything. Use the double haul, increase line speed, increase load, do whatever you gotta do, but make sure you keep tension on that rod. It'll make a world of difference. Thanks for watching, guys. What's going on, everybody? Gunner here. It is Father's Day weekend. Uh, and it's, I don't know, 5.50 in the morning. We're headed down to Park Falls, Wisconsin right now to hang out with St. Croix Rods for Customer Appreciation Day. Welcome to Park Falls, baby.